Assalamu alaikum. Today's lecture is about antibiotic balloon counterfixation. The second part is about the physiology and the normal function of the antibiotic balloon pump. Uh, when it comes to the function, the main function of antibiotic balloon pump, uh, it's inflation and deflation. And uh, during the heart in the rest, the balloon is working and the heart is in the uh, working, the balloon in the rest. This means in systole, the balloon is deflated, and diastole, the balloon is inflated. And the inflation of the balloon during diastole, it takes about 80 uh, to 85 percent from the aortic uh, size, so it will lead to displacement of the blood into the periphery and to the coronary. And during systole, it's rapid deflation with decrease in diastolic aortic and diastolic pressure, which help in decrease afterload and increasing cardiac output. So the primary effect of the balloon is decreasing oxygen demand and increase oxygen supply. And the demand will increase by deflation, which decreases uh, afterload. And this is after load is decreased by decrease uh, uh, aortic in the diastolic pressure, and all of that will reflect it to increase the stroke volume and so the cardiac output. And the supply will increase by uh, inflation of oxygen, will increase by inflation, which will lead to displacement of the blood into uh, uh, into the periphery or and coronary arteries, so increase coronary artery supply and increase systemic perfusion. Will a good example for coronary uh, perfusion, where uh, if we can see the balloon uh, in, uh, inflation will displace the blood uh, during diastole and increase coronary perfusion uh, during diastole, where the muscle is, uh, of the heart is relaxed and uh, there is increasing uh, uh, increase coronary uh, perfusion, which mainly due, during diastole. And uh, rapid deflation uh, per or to left ventricle ejection fraction will decrease the uh, left ventricle afterload, so the ejection fraction will increase and uh, decrease left ventricle wall tension. So the secondary effect is improving cardiac output, decreasing the heart rate, and uh, a decrease pulmonary capillary pressure and pulmonary artery occlusion pressure, uh, decrease systemic vascular resistance, which uh, reflected on uh, the increasing uh, left ventricle ejection, and uh, diastolic augmentation in early diastole, which helping in increasing the perfusion to the coronaries and the periphery. And all of this will reflect it to increase mean arterial blood pressure, which is a mean perfusing pressure in the body. Uh, as a result of perfusing antibiotic balloon, increasing systemic effect, which uh, reflected by improving cardiac output by increased blood perfusion. Increase renal perfusion, which is reflected by increased urine output, increased perfusion to the periphery, which will re reflected by decrease in lactate, decrease warming in the periphery. All of this is systemic effect of antibiotic balloon pump. Figure is the physiological uh, signal till the antibiotic balloon console uh, where we should start or end the cycle. Uh, it must organize continuously to tell the inflation and deflation of the balloon. If we see the console of the antibiotic balloon, this is the source of trigger. We have many sources I will explain in details in later on. Here patient console uh, connection. What do mean by that? This is how we can connect it to the trigger. Uh, we had two types, uh, direct connection. Uh, so the cable is connected to a uh, pressure and uh, or ECG patient to the console direct. Or here is remote connection which is uh, using the bedside uh, monitor uh, for the connection or the anesthesia monitor for the connection. Uh, and we should know that better to have direct connection as uh, in for remote connection, we have a delay, some delay maybe or uh, seconds delay for the connection, which will affect the cardiac cycle, which is also in seconds. The most important uh, triggers are ECG, arterial pressure waveform, and pacemaker spikes. The first trigger we, I will explain is ECG, and it's better than uh, of the best trigger than uh, uh, arterial pressure waveform. at the electrical impulse, usually precede the mechanical impulse. We have three patterns for uh, or three types of uh, ECG. First type is a pattern, where is a uh, uh, preset trigger mode. Usually, it's the preset and the default in the machine. The computer analyzes the height and the weight and the slope 
of positively or negatively deflected uh, QRS complex, it will give a good timing for uh, deflation and inflation of the balloon. If we come to the second type, is the peak type. They are also the same like a peak, but the differ the pattern, but the difference between the pattern and peak. In peak, there is wide QRS complex, uh, which can be uh, is a choice in bundle branch block. Bundle branch block. And the th third one is uh, SUF5 correlation. The, the 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 machine will analyze uh, the QRS complex in the same manner in the peak mode. But the balloon will automatically uh, be deflated whenever the QR uh, the R wave is sensed in, uh, in the atrial fibrillation. ECG will be good uh, trigger if we have the same monophasic QRS up or down, uh, uh, so it will be good for a triggering. And bad signal if we have a, a tall uh, a T wave. Uh, bidirectional uh, QRS complex, uh, wandering ECG around the line, there is no straight line. Also, uh, 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 the shape of um, a T wave uh, and QRS complex, we have arrhythmias, multiple arrhythmias, so it will be bad trigger uh, to get the, uh, the, the wave. Uh, should we go for uh, arterial pressure waveform? Uh, the arterial pressure waveform is the uh, second trigger, and the systolic upstroke here is the site for uh, sensing uh, the, the sensing the, the, the site for sensing. This is the upstroke, uh, systolic upstroke. We need to uh, see uh, forms of arterial pressure uh, waveform. That we divided the arterial pressure form to systole and diastole. And this is one cardiac cycle. In the systole, we have one decrotic notch, which is uh, representing the closure of uh, aortic uh, valve. And all area under the curve representing the MEP, or mean arterial blood pressure, which is the part responsible for uh, uh, organ, uh, organ perfusion. In this picture, I want to show the trigger window for ECG and for arterial pressure uh, waveform. As I mentioned before, the trigger window for ECG is the R wave. As the R wave is the start of the cycle, and it is the start of the trigger for a new cycle. But uh, in the uh, in the uh, arterial pressure waveform, it will be the uh, as I mentioned before also the systolic upstroke. So there is a delay between the electrical uh, electrical impulse and the mechanical uh, effect. But we uh, for uh, the triggering uh, here there is a delay for about uh, some of the seconds. It would make difference in patient uh, in cardiac cycle. However, if we don't have this is uh, R wave clear or we have some arrhythmias and we cannot rely on the ECG, we will go for the uh, for the arterial pressure wave for uh, which its trigger is the upstroke the systolic upstroke. Uh, and this is area of, for the trigger in the ECG, and this is the area for trigger in uh, in um, arterial pressure reform. The inflation of the balloon uh, immediately after T wave in the ECG, and just before the crotic notch in the uh, crotic notch in the arterial pressure reform. And this is the uh, the uh, uh, timing and the relation between ECG. And uh, uh, pressure, uh, pressure, as mentioned, usually electrical impulse precede the mechanical impulse. Uh, pacemaker spikes is not preferred except if we have a pacing, uh, regular pacing. Uh, for atrial pacing, we used it uh, uh, the atrial uh, pacing spikes as a trigger signal. It's only in 100% atrial pacing rhythm. And V based uh, the computer use ventricular spike as a trigger signal. We can use it in ventricular or atrioventricular pacing. And uh, it's also essentially for both of them, the patient will be 100% based. Then a trigger to balloon inflate or deflate at the preset uh, rate, regardless of the patient's cardiac activity. It can be used in situations where there is no arterial pressure. We form a 
in new ECG. So there is preset to the uh, rate from uh, uh, 40 to 120. Usually we use uh, 80 uh, repeat per minute. Cardiac arrest. Do you we use intraortic balloon? Yes. It will help to optimize uh, blood supply to the coronaries, helping to increase the blood supply to which rhythm we will use, which uh, which trigger we will use. Which usually we will use um, arterial pressure waveform trigger or internal trigger. If uh, if, if we don't get uh, arterial pressure waveform during uh, cardiac compression, uh, this is intraortic balloon pump uh, picture of uh, augmentation or inflation and deflation. Uh, if we see the first wave is a, a normal arterial wave, which is showing a systole, a systolic upstroke, and uh, here is diacrotic notch, which representing closure of aortic valve. Uh, for the first uh, upstroke is unassisted systole, and the second is unassisted aortic and diastolic pressure. And if we see this is unassisted uh, systole, the same. And uh, uh, better to the uh, the acrotic notch, there is inflation of the balloon, will lead to diastolic augmentation, supra-systolic pressure uh, of diastole more than the, uh, the unassisted systole. And then, after ending of the uh, uh, of uh, diastole, the balloon deflated, so it lowering uh, the aortic and diastolic pressure, which named now it's assisted. And then the second, this is assisted systole which is lower than the uh, unassisted systole so uh, during inflation of the balloon the balloon will give diastolic augmentation will be give diastolic pressure supra systolic uh, increasing the uh, uh, diastolic pressure but during the deflation the systole will decrease the assisted systole will decrease and the assisted aortic and diastolic pressure decrease, which is the aim of the balloon to decrease it to uh, allowing more ejection for left ventricle ejection uh, uh, and increasing the cardiac output. Uh, this is the reference for uh, this lecture. And uh, besides, there are uh, some comedical uh, sites. Uh, you can uh, uh, read it for, uh, for the interactive balloon pump. Thank you and ready to uh, receive the questions and comment below in the comments.